Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 6 of my Bournemouth career mode series. The support has been ridiculous on the series, I just can't thank you enough. If you guys could smash out 50 likes again, that would be awesome. Also subscribe so that you do not miss a single upload and follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. Also guys, I've put my upload schedule in the description below, so have a look at it so that you know exactly when I will be uploading. And now let's get into today's episode. So, the first thing we'll be doing is talking about Harriata. In the last episode, he was homesick and he's still homesick obviously, and he wants to leave the club. So what should we do? Should we try to, you know, make him stay or, you know, sell him in the January transfer? window and get a better central midfielder because to be honest he isn't that great just let me know what we should do with him in the comment section below now let's get into our first question of today's press conference do you think you can finish top five now we've been getting these questions a lot since we've been forming so well and to be honest i don't think yet we can finish top five because we aren't that good right now i mean we are in second place right now but still it's going to be difficult we'll still try but i think top eight is realistic the next question is from mali why do you think you have been so successful in huge games so this season we have played three big games one against Spurs and against Man City as well so we've beaten both of them and one against Liverpool which we lost but we were kind of unlucky in that game so I think it was down to individual ability like players like Itube and even a bit of luck I mean against Spurs definitely luck so I think those were the big factors that you know helped us win in these games so if you guys have any questions for the next episode press conference just let me know in the comment section below but now it's time to face Everton in the Capital One Cup away from home this is obviously the round of 16 so if you win this game we get into the quarterfinals which is pretty good but things don't look really well here as Delafo whips the ball into Kone who somehow misses that that was such a good chance he should have scored it now it's McCarthy it links up well with Kone it's still McCarthy who smashes the ball but Dragoski makes the save now I hadn't gone with a strong team for this one because I wanted to rest them for any of my BPL encounters so the team wasn't strong I didn't even play Gradel. I brought him on now for puke let's see how he performs hopefully we'll get us through this game but as I had not chosen my first team you know my best team things weren't looking good we were conceding a lot of chances to Everton but fortunately for us they weren't taking the chances they were missing the strikers weren't having the day and on the break here we had a great chance to score but Matt Ritchie hits the post with his finesse shot he probably should have scored that that was a great chance for him to score now in the 85th minute of this game this game certainly looks like a nil nil but could Lukaku change that Lukaku takes the shot but it goes wide he should have scored that the score is still nil nil 90 minutes gone it's Kevin Miralles yeah Miralles smashes it what a save from Dragoski the score remains nil nil we are going to extra time can we guys snatch the win in extra time but it doesn't look like Lennon has a great chance to score but his shot goes above the crossbar it's been all Everton this game we have been humiliated by Everton in this game they've had all the chances here we had barely any chances in this game Barry again with a chance but Dragoski has been saving us all day long in this game now guys it's going to be penalties here I really didn't want it to go to penalties because my penalties aren't really good in this game you guys know that so it's going to be difficult here first penalty Everton's sake Lukaku stops shoots and scores decent penalty from him 1-0 to Everton now it's going to be Callum Wilson to take it. Can he score? Yes, he can. Decent penalty from Wilson. Makes it 1-0. Kevin Morales to take a penalty. He scores as well. The last time we were in a penalty shootout, it was against Watford. And we somehow managed to win that. I hope we can do it again here. Gretel scores his penalty. Barry to take his. Barry scores as well. Again, a decent penalty from him. Both teams putting in great penalties. But Harry Arta, the player who's homesick, misses a penalty. I'm really annoyed at him now. Now Daniels to take a penalty, he scores as well to keep us alive now, if we save this then we are alive, if we don't, it's done, yes guys it is done, we have been eliminated from the Capital One Cup by Phil Jagielka, a decent penalty from him, unfortunately we have been knocked out from the Capital One Cup, I kind of wanted to win this trophy and just look at that guys, not, not many big teams still left in this competition, I think we could have won it, we only had Manchester City or even you know Leicester City if you count them as a big team left in that competition, so we could have won it but unfortunately we got knocked out by Everton who now have a great chance of winning it, but guys now it's time to focus on our Premier League season as we'll be playing two games in today's episode from the Premier League, one against Southampton and a game against Newcastle in the next episode we'll have a massive game against Chelsea so you guys can ask me press conference questions related to that game as well we're going to the Stamford Bridge so that'll be in the next episode but anyways let's focus on our game right now against Southampton if we do win this game I think we will be in second place with Manchester United being in first place obviously we'll have the same amount of points so that gives us good incentive to win this one I'm going with my strongest team let's see how they perform Ryan Gold into Afobe Afobe into Dan Gosling Gosling into Afobe Afobe goes past one he takes a shot but a deflection 
Ryan Gold could have probably got there and scored, but he didn't. Here's Afobe now, Afobe into Gradel here, who just scored his first goal of the season last episode against Manchester City, so he's in good form now. Afobe takes a shot, but Virgil makes a good block, and the score remains nil-nil, but we now have another chance here. It's Itobe with the ball, the man in form, the player of the season for us so far. It's still Manuel Itobe who takes the shot, but Stecklenburg makes the save. A great attempt nonetheless from Itobe. He's literally scored in the, my last four or five games. He's been ridiculous for me. Classy takes the shot, but what a block from Cook. And after 45 minutes, the score remains nil-nil. But here, we have a chance here. Gradel puts the ball into Afobe. He couldn't get there. Gradel hits it back to Ryan Gold, who takes the touch and smashes the ball into the back of the net with his left foot. What a goal from Ryan Gold. How good has he been playing in this season? He's got a lot of assists already for us. And that was another goal from him. That I think was his second or third goal of the season. But that was a beautiful goal from Ryan Gold. Just look at that. The strike was just perfect from him. No chance for the keeper there. And he's having one hell of a season. I think he's got, yeah, two goals for the season. Now another the chance here for us, Itube with the ball, it is still Itube here, yeah. oh that's a defence splitting pass from Manuel Itube into Gridel here, yeah. Gridel has a lot of space here, yeah. puts the ball into Ryan Gold, could he get his second of the game but Stecklenburg with an absolutely ridiculous save and that's the end of this game, it was a very lucky win for us against Southampton but we do get all three points from this one and keep pace with Man United, Ryan Gold with a moment of magic and as we can see Joshua King is happy with the game time he's getting, that's really good to see, he was cribbing earlier this season but now he's happy with his game time but as you can see something new has happened in the Harry Arthur situation his agent says that he's fine but you can't ever trust the agents you know words so let me know in the comment section what we should do with Harry Arthur should we let him go or should we you know keep him or persuade him to stay or maybe just sign a new plan and just replace him let me know in the comment section what we should do but now it's time to face Newcastle United in our final game of this episode hopefully we can end the episode with another win which will be freaking insane this is the team I'm going with again it's my strongest team I suppose with players like Iturbe playing Ryan Gold who's been in great form I mean Itobe and Gold are like Vardy and Mares for me in this season, in this career mode to be honest. Itobe again with a great chance to score but their keeper made a good save. Itobe's long shot's actually pretty good in this game. I mean, he's like a hidden gem. I mean, I'm glad I've got a chance to play with him. He's so good in this game. But we do concede our first goal in a long time. Coming from, I think, Slimani. I'm not sure of his name here but the ball just went into the box and that was one hell of a header from him. And the score is now 1-0 to Newcastle United. But not for long here. Yeah. Sermon smashes the ball into the back of the net. A really good goal there from Andrew Sermon. Will Hughes gets the assist for that one. And after 37 minutes, we are back in this game. It doesn't look like we will be losing this one. After that goal, the game completely changed here. But now Newcastle have a chance. I mean, this has literally come out of nowhere. A chance for them here. We were literally dominating this game after that goal. But they hit the crossbar. How close could they get? But now we have a chance here. The ball is with Joshua King. It is still King here. Yeah? He's trying to run with the ball too much. I mean, he should have taken the shot earlier. But then he took the shot finally but the keeper had to just make an easy save. The score is still 1-0. Can we get the goal, guys? It's Itobe now, who's trying to go on one of his another spectacular dribbles. Does so successfully. The shot is saved by the keeper, but Callum Wilson walks it home. A decent finish from him, but the goal was all about one Itobe's run. That was just spectacular. I mean, the form he's in, unfortunately, he couldn't get an assist for that one, but that goal was just spectacular from Juan Manuel Itube and the score is now 2-1 here but now they have a chance here on the counter late on in this game here Sissoko plays the ball into De Jong who could have gone through on goal but Liam Moore takes the you know responsibility to you know get him down he gets a red card for it but that was the right thing he did he took one for the team and as a result he won't be there for the next game but that's it for this game guys we have beaten Newcastle and we have got all three points again we're on a win streak here and as you can see guys the press have taken that into account and as you can see they've posted an article in which they're saying that we have a five match win streak and we're doing so well and I think that's pretty good to see that the press and you know everyone's just appreciating Bournemouth that's pretty good to see and as you can see we keep pace with Man United at the top of the league with 28 points after like 12 games that is ridiculous I don't know if we can win the league I certainly think now we can finish top 8 I mean I think now top 8 is a must in the next episode we'll have some interesting games as I said against Swansea against Everton obviously we lost to Everton on penalties so we gotta take revenge we'll also have Chelsea if you guys have enjoyed this episode don't don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. Don't forget to leave your questions for next episode's press conference and I will see you guys soon in another episode.